Are you considering relocating to the United States? Before you move, it's important to be aware of the unique challenges that come with life in the U.S. From the wealth gap to healthcare disparities, there are some shocking truths about American society that everyone should be aware of. So, if you're considering moving to the U.S., this video is a must-watch. Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll explore 10 realities that could affect you if you call the U.S. home. Are you new to the channel? Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned, and don't forget to like this video. Number 1. Sales Tax When relocating to the United States, it's important to understand the taxes charged when making purchases. In most countries, taxes are already included in the item's price. However, in the U.S., taxes are typically added at the register. This means you may pay more than the listed price for an item due to sales tax. When shopping in the U.S., you'll need to factor in the sales tax rate for your county or state. Sales tax rates vary widely from location to location, so it's important to keep an eye out for this extra cost. It's also important to note that some states and counties offer exemptions from sales tax for certain items, such as groceries or clothing, so make sure to look into the specific tax laws for the area you're living in. Number 2. Third World Within Our First World Economy The U.S. is often seen as a beacon of prosperity and hope, but some startling realities may shock many. Nowhere is this more evident than in the nation's homeless population. According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's 2018 Annual Homeless Assessment Report, over 553,000 people lived without a permanent residence on a single night in 2018. That equates to around 0.17% of the total U.S. population. Los Angeles, California, had the second highest number of homeless people, with over 41,000. Number one was led by New York City, which had more than 60,000. It is easy to forget these harsh truths when seeing America through the lens of Hollywood films and TV shows. But if you are considering relocating to the United States, these are important facts. Number three, healthcare is expensive. It is important to understand that the healthcare system can be very expensive compared to other developed countries. This is because the U.S. has a primarily private market healthcare system, meaning private entities rather than public organizations offering services. In addition, the U.S. does not have a universal healthcare system like many other developed countries. Medical expenses can quickly add up and become financially burdensome, especially for those without insurance. This lack of universal health care also puts low-income households at risk of being unable to access adequate care. When planning to move to the United States, it is recommended to research potential health insurance plans in your area and look into different government programs such as Medicare and Medicaid that may be able to provide some financial assistance. Number 4. Tips In the U.S., Tipping is expected in most situations, such as restaurants and bars, taxi rides, hairstyling, and many other services. Tipping is a way of expressing gratitude for excellent service rather than an additional payment for services rendered. When dining out, it's customary to leave a tip of 15% to 20% of the total bill amount. It's also expected that a tip will be given if there are six or more people in a group, as a gratuity charge is automatically added to the bill. Similarly, it's common practice at bars and nightclubs to give a tip of around $1 per drink. Hairdressers and barbers usually receive a tip of around 10 to 20 percent, depending on the quality of their service. Knowing when and how much to tip is essential for a pleasant service industry experience. Number 5. America doesn't use the metric system. Since its founding, United States of America has been a country of innovation and progress. From the Wright brothers to the modern-day Tesla, America has been a leader in technological advancement. However, one area where the U.S. has lagged behind is the metric system. Most countries use the metric system for measurement, but the U.S. still clings to its imperial measurement system. Why? It all goes back to when America was first settled. The British brought their measurements, which soon became standard practice in the colonies. When America won its independence from Britain, it kept using these same measurements, and over time they became ingrained in American culture and daily life. So will the U.S. ever go back to the metric system? It's hard to say. 
There have been several attempts in Congress to switch over to the metric system, but none have been successful. While some argue that switching would benefit businesses and international trade, others worry that it would cause too much confusion and cost too much money. Number six, food in the U.S. is full of GMOs, bad fats, and high salt. The U.S. is notorious for having some of the highest levels of salt consumption globally, with nearly half of all Americans consuming over the recommended daily limit. This high level of sodium consumption can lead to serious health consequences such as high blood pressure, stroke, and kidney disease. Additionally, a large amount of food in the U.S. contains genetically modified organisms. GMOs are often used to increase the shelf life of food and enhance its flavor but they can also carry unknown risks that are still being studied. Examples of GMOs include fruits without seeds, tomatoes with delayed ripening, and potatoes with fewer toxins. It's also important to note that many processed foods contain large amounts of unhealthy fats, such as trans fats. Trans fats are associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease and should be avoided. Additionally, some processed foods are high in sugar, which can lead to weight gain, diabetes, and other health problems. Knowing this information can help you make more informed decisions when grocery shopping or eating out. Number 7. Loose Gun Laws The United States is known for having some of the loosest gun laws in the world. Currently, there is no ban on assault rifles in the U.S., meaning it's possible to own military-style firearms. This has caused a surge in gun ownership, with an estimated 120 guns per 100 people in America, making it one of the world's highest rates of gun ownership. The lack of stringent gun laws has been controversial, particularly after recent mass shootings. While some argue that stricter gun control laws should be implemented, others believe that it's not the guns that are to blame, but rather the people who misuse them. As someone relocating to the U.S., it's important to be aware of the risks associated with gun ownership laws and regulations surrounding their use. Number 8. Drugs The opioid crisis in the United States has been devastating. National Institute on Drug Abuse, NIDA, estimated that in 2020 nearly 92,000 people died from drug-involved overdose. To put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of a small city's population dying in just one year. The number of opioid overdose deaths is higher than gun-related deaths, with some estimates at more than three times as high. This startling statistic clearly illustrates the severity of this public health emergency and emphasizes the importance of reducing drug overdoses and providing more effective treatment for addiction. Number 9. Patriotism The American flag symbolizes patriotism and pride for many people across the United States. It is seen flying on many homes, printed on t-shirts, hats, and even car bumpers. But many don't realize the deep-rooted patriotism that comes with it. When wearing or displaying the American flag, many feel it's an obligation to show respect and loyalty to their country. Even those who don't necessarily feel the same level of pride are expected to uphold the same standards. Those who choose not to display the flag may be subject to harsh criticism or mockery from those around them, often being told that if they don't like America, they should leave. This kind of patriotism can have a negative effect when taken too far. Number 10. Stress Sometimes, Americans can feel trapped in a box. When it comes to happiness, the United States isn't at the top of the list. According to the World Happiness Report 2020, the U.S. is ranked 18th regarding happiness. This means that, as a nation, Americans are struggling with happiness and stress. One of the main causes of this stress is the constant chase for material wealth. Many people in the U.S. strive to be wealthier and more successful, working long hours and facing considerable pressure to keep up with the standards of modern society. This constant striving for more can affect mental and physical health, leading to increased stress levels. One way to combat this type of stress is through what is known as quite quitting. This involves doing the minimum requirements at one's employment. The worker does not involve themselves in any extra steps to impress management. By quite quitting, the employee makes a considerable effort to keep unnecessary mental and physical stress at bay. While the term quite quitting is fairly new, it has gathered a large following among the U.S. workforce. Trust you found this video helpful. 
Don't forget to like this video. Hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Bye for now and stay positive.